Michigan's all right. Give me a three and four. Oh, yeah. Um, the Virginia plan proposed is a full legislative branch consisting of two chambers by two legislators, and each of which would say should be represented, presented in proportion to their quotas of contribu contribution or to the number of free inhabitants. States with a large population like Virginia, which was the most populous state at the time, would thus have more representatives than the smaller states. Large states supported this plan and smaller states, which feared losing substantial power in the national government, generally opposed it, preferring the alternative put forward by the New Jersey delegation on June 15th. The New Jersey plan proposed a single chamber legislative in which each state, regardless of size, would have one vote as under the Articles of Confederation. Good. All right, so Virginia's plan. This was the Virginia plan. It proposed uh, um, instead of legislative breast consisting of two chambers. Okay. Uh, good. Emily, do you have something? No, I'm going to read it. Okay, yeah, you can read the next one. Uh, but so Virginia's plan. They wanted, um, they wanted to have two chambers, and each of those chambers, they wanted to be represented, represented proportionally. Okay, what did we learn about from this paragraph about Virginia's population? The population is on... Um, what does it say in parentheses on the, in the document? It was the most popular state. Very good. So at the time, this is in the late 1780s, Virginia is the most populous state. Okay, that means they had the most people. They had the biggest population. Um, so because of that, they their agenda, their Virginia plan was to have uh, the have the amount of say in the government broken down proportionally. What does proportionally mean? Uh, uh, smaller groups. Groups, yeah. Smaller oh. groups have a lesser amount. Oh, yeah, Matt, I learned about proportional amounts. Good. Okay, so if I have, um, if I have, this is the whole United States, okay? And maybe this is Virginia. Okay, this is how much population of the United States Virginia has. Okay, then maybe this is California. New York. Uh, New York. And then we have California. California was California was state. Yeah. Uh, this is Massachusetts. Why you say that again? Okay. Early state. So then we have one, two, three, four. Five, uh, here's New Jersey, NJ, K, six, seven, okay, whatever. So, Virginia, based on their plan, each state gets a proportional amount of power. So who has the most power? Virginia. Virginia, right? They get the most representatives in the United States government. Let's say that uh, there's, 13 colonies each so there's 13 representatives so if virginia has uh this much they get four representatives okay uh and then new york might get two massachusetts might get two okay who's that gonna leave out virginia no virginia's not left out they have four representatives New it's gonna leave out tiny tiny states like New Jersey, right? New Jersey's over here. Some of these smaller ones, like of uh, these smaller colonies, Connecticut, things like that, they're gonna have a small representation. So, do we think that these smaller states are gonna be all for Virginia's plan? No. No, no right? They're not gonna support the Virginia plan. Okay, so that was Virginia's plan. Divide the power proportionally among the states. Among us. Proportionally among us, sure. Okay, so next paragraph. Uh, well, I'll read over the branches and then Emily, you can read the next paragraph. So, Virginia's plan was to have these branches. They wanted three branches of government a legislative, an executive, and a judicial. So, it's not very. I wanted three branches. Three branches a legislative, uh, executive and a judicial. Who is at the head of the judicial branch? I mean, of the executive branch. The president. The president. The president, right? The president is the head of the executive branch. So, 
Uh, they wanted the legislative branch to be the most powerful because it would choose the executive and the judicial. They wanted two houses, a House of Representatives and a Senate. Okay, what is this sounding like? Our current government, right? We have three branches. We have the legislative, the executive, and the judicial, and we have two houses, a House of Representatives and a Senate. Uh, the legislator could regulate interstate trade, strike down laws deemed unconstitutional, and use armed forces. All right, the New Jersey plan, Emily. The New Jersey plan was a proposal from the structure of the United States government proposed by William Patterson on June 15, 1787. The plan was created in response to the Virginia plan's call for two houses of Congress, both elected with proportional representation. The less populous states were adamantly opposed to giving most of the control to the national government of the national government to the larger states, and so proposed an alternate plan that would give that would have given one vote per state for equal representation under one legislative body. Under the New Jersey plan, the organization the organization of legislator was similar to that of the modern day United Nations and other like institutions. This position reflected the belief that the states were independent entities and as they entered the United States of America freely and individually, so they remained. The New Jersey plan also gave power to regulate trade and to raise money for, by tax on foreign goods. Okay, good. So, our smaller states, such as New Jersey, they are going to be opposed to the Virginia plan. And the reason that they're opposed to the Virginia plan is because they're not represented proportionally, right? Or their, their representation is very small. They get a very small uh, amount of representation under the Virginia plan. So they proposed a new plan. And they said each state should get how many votes, Henry? Uh, 10 per Callan, how many votes under the New Jersey plan? Oh, Oh, one. one, right? So they were saying that they should all get one vote. vote, that each state should get one vote, and that, that would be fair, okay? And they all had one vote already under what? Very good, Brayden. Under the Articles of Confederation. When they were under the Articles of Confederation, they already had one vote. So they wanted to kind of keep it the way it was, similar to how it was under the Articles of Confederation. Um, they also wanted, uh, what is it talking about at the very end when it says uh, that they, they reflected the beliefs that the states were independent enti entities and they entered the United States of America freely and individually and so they remained. What does that mean? What is it talking about? What is an individual entity, an independent entity? Yeah. yeah. Like they're independent by themselves, by you, nobody else. And yeah, they want to be like by themselves, right? You want to be independent. So they wanted the states to still be strong. They wanted to be ruled individually, like as a state. They were on the side of the anti federalists. What did the anti federalists want? Remember, we talked about this a week or two ago. What were the anti-federalists and the federalists? Small government. Small Good. They wanted small government. They were anti-federalists. wanted small government. Or they wanted strong state government. Okay? Very good. Uh, so, what's going to end up, which plan do we think ends up winning out? Virginia. The Virginia plan, right? Big government. Okay, because we're under a national government, a federal government, right? And they had those branches and they wanted uh, proportional power. But we're going to end up, and this is what we're going to talk about some tomorrow, we're going to come to some compromises. There's, we're going to take some ideas from both plans and we're going to compromise in, in, our, in the Constitution. So this was happening at the uh, Constitutional Convention of 1787. So based on proportion. We're gonna just end up deciding, this is the um, uh, giveaway for what we're gonna talk about tomorrow, but uh, like you said, the Virginia plan is gonna end up winning out, okay? The Virginia plan is gonna be what we go with for the most part. And so if uh, states are gonna be represented proportionally, they're gonna be trying to find loopholes. How can we get represented more? How can we get more representatives in our state 
so that we are represented more uh, nationally. And because our big cities, New York, Boston, Philadelphia, the cities with all the people, where are they located, generally? Which direction, geographically? North. East. North. Northeast, very good, okay, they're the north. Right, we have New York up north, Boston's up north, Philadelphia is up north, okay? So, how about our states in the south? What do we think the south is gonna want to happen in order to get more representation? Uh, more people come to the south? What'd you say? What? What'd you, did you say something? Some other people come to the south, maybe. Okay, they're gonna want people to come to the south. Or, what do we know about our economy in the south? Agricultural, 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 and slavery. Right, it's driven by crops, driven by agriculture, driven by work from slaves. Okay, so how are we gonna get more population counted in the south? What are they gonna want to count towards their population? Slaves. Crops. Slaves. They're not going to want crops down there as their population. <laughs> crops don't get a vote. Okay? But they're, they're going to want slaves to count towards their population. They're going to say, okay, the North, they, get, they have all these big cities. So for us to get more representation, slaves should start to count for, towards the population. Okay? And uh, we're going to talk more about that tomorrow. But we're going to come to, they're going to come to a compromise. Uh, so... There are four questions on the document. Answer those four questions and turn that in. On the Virginia New Jersey plan.